From Wall Street to Main Street, this is LA Late. It's a big evening of evenings, LA Late, with your fourth stimulus check update of 2022. Vladimir Putin and Russian forces have invaded Ukraine. You're looking at stock footage of Ukraine, not live footage today. The latest details is that the Build Back Better Act will still get done. This offer stimulus 1, 2, and 3, and 4.0 are still going to a vote despite what's happening in Ukraine right now. In today's recording, we're going to go over a refocusing of where we are about your money and how the great news coming in overnight is that the White House has acted quickly and responsibly to get new economic relief out to you, brand new, in, in spite of what's happened in Ukraine. It's happening tonight, and I have the latest details. Plus, we'll be going back to CR for Stimulus 1.0 that has a vote in just a few days. But someone's showing up with their hand out trying to grab some of your money. Oh, do they dare do that? <laughs> what do they want the money for? It's not lobster shorts, but it's almost as bad. <laughs> and we have the latest details in tonight's video. Then we'll go over to CR for Sumos 2, 3, and 4.0. Build Back Better, that is still building and getting better. Then we'll be looking at SS300, the opportunity for Joe Biden to get millions of dollars to people's wallets right now as inflationary concerns are growing. We're 24 hours away from a major inflationary number that will impact what the Federal Reserve is going to do in that March meeting. And I'm going to show you how we're going. But we have a lot to go over tonight as a new signal across the board is happening. This is a financial news channel, and we're staying with financial news 24-7, seven, seven days a week. As Ukraine and Russia unfolds, I will cover it to the extent it impacts your wallet. But this is not a war channel and not a war correspondent channel. I'll have more about this after the opening credits, but I'm excited you're here because there is new brand new details tonight about new efforts by the White House to release the inflationary pressures upon you. It's great news. It's breaking. And then I have the latest on all these incredible checks, these adult automatic stimulus checks and more as we go into a big, bold, beautiful evenings of L evenings LA. And the excitement starts right here, right now, as Evenings Ally gets underway direct from Santa Monica, California, with the breaking news from the East, the West, Eastern Europe, and what you need to know about your money tonight. The latest details starting right here from Santa Monica, California on Evenings. Hey, good evening, everybody. What a night it is. The incredible details across the board is that Vladimir Putin has invaded with Russian troops Ukraine. You're looking at stock footage, not live footage, of the beautiful landscape of Ukraine. But tonight, I'm going to go a little bit off book and give you an idea of where this channel is going over the next few days, next few weeks, and potentially next few months, as the Russia-Ukraine situation is far from over. Here's what you need to know going into tonight's recording of Evenings L.A. This is a financial news channel, and as a financial news channel, my job is to report the impact of financial news on your wallet. The number one financial news focus channel focusing on stocks and bonds, the number two focusing on the Federal Reserve, but me focusing more on your wallet. This is not a war correspondent channel, so I will not be covering every movement of U.S. and Russian troops over the next few weeks. What I will be covering is every time it impacts your wallet. And you're going to see it in tonight's recording. That's number one. Number two, also what I want to say to you very clearly is that there are some U.S. broadcasters, channels that are not financial news channels, that will cover the war and will cover correspondence on decks uh, with explosions because it brings them ratings. Do not think that Build Back Better Act is not happening because they're not covering it. They're covering that because that brings them ratings. Number three. For the first time ever tonight, I'm going to only say one really time today, and that's it, I'm going to move on, is that this channel will not, repeat, not allow 
commentary along the lines of Laura Ingram or Tucker Carlson in the comments. You saw some of their horrific comments said by those two anchors on Fox News overnight about Vladimir Putin. I will not allow those type of comments on this channel. So if you bring them, you will be banned. If you do any type of glorification, you'll be banned. And if you say anything like, well, Bill Bout better act or force the most recon is not happening because of Ukraine or Russia, you will also be removed from the channel. It's simply untrue. And with that tonight, we're going to go right into Build Back Better. That is the Force Summers Recon. That will become a law. We're going to go over all those incredible sums of checks. Then we go over CR for Stimulus 1, 2, 3, and 4.0. I have brand new breaking news to, about that tonight. We'll be looking at SS300 heading to SS400. I have a lot of breaking news as the Federal Reserve has brand new data coming in 24 hours. And the Federal Reserve about to act early next week. And then the White House, really great news, not one, but two, that will relieve financial pressure on you and your wallet. It came out just minutes ago. It's brand new tonight, folks. But we're going to start first with Build Back Better. The Force Stimulus Recon, that has three classes of checks and three add-ons that amount to at least $15,000 of checks. And here we go. First cost I got in there, hazard pay. One more year of that in the earned income tax credit for my essential workers. $4,000 of elder care got it in there. $4,000 of care for young children. Then they got in there the Pell Grant. $550 checks for my college students and the $12,500 for the purchase of a new electric vehicle. Wow. They got in there three clusters of checks, but also three add-ons. The first add-on comes from Maxine Waters here in Southern California. It is a great item, folks, and you love it. This is money for the purchase of your first home, and she got this incredible sums of money in there. How much? A little bit less than 25000 given from the federal government to the seller in your name at the time of close of escrow. Wow. And it's huge. It's one of the many $60,000 of checks in Build Back Better Act that is going to the finish line. Let's go to the second cluster of checks. Home repairs. Oh. This is to weatherize your home every time the neighbors move in and they're wearing a lobster shorts in the front yard. Do they dare? <laughs> <laughs> and then paid leave every time you have to take off at work because your boss showed up at work wearing a lobster shorts. Oh, it's spreading the nation. What's going on here? <clears throat> How much is that paid leave? It's a lot of money, folks. It is $1,700 a week if you make $70,000 or more per year. $800 a week if you make $35,000 or more per year. $400 a week if you make $15,000 or more per year. How many weeks? Four to six weeks per year. So yeah, it's a lot of money. $46,000 and boy, W2-1099. If you don't want work but your son or daughter does work, they're going to get the check uh, for the household every time they have to take off from work to take you to the doctor's office. It's huge and it's incredible great news. That is the hazard. That is the paid leave provision in there. Now, there is also a second add-on, and that's the one that starts with the number two. Do you remember the number? I bet you do. Jump in the live chat and write that number right now. What is that number? It is, oh, someone wrote it. <laughs> it's $250 billion, a free home health care for seniors and people on disabilities. Wow. Free home health care. Can you imagine it's not covered in some benefits? Now it's in there via Bob Casey, a campaign promise from Joe Biden. Free home health care for seniors and people on disabilities. Let's go to the Third cluster checks where we find it true deliciousness. Free internet for all. That's available right now in some parts of the country. Learn about from the volunteers on the community page. They got in there checks for farmers, checks for free school meals for all checks. And then they got in there money for the independent contractors. The seniors got in there two checks on the house, which are hearing and the Medicaid gap fix. More about that later. Then the dental vision and lowering the eligibility age of Medicare come on the house side, which is part of the course when we're talking about adding checks on the Senate side. I think I inverted that just right then, but you know what I mean. The Senate just vowed to add lots of checks to this recon, and what is that three-letter addition they want to add in there? Jump in the live chat right, right now. I think I know what you know what it is, and there, oh, someone already wrote it. It's MSC. MSC is an add-on that the Senate has vowed to add to this recon. The third add-on, and what is MSC? It's not monthly sugar-free chocolate cake recipes. <laughs> it's just about as deliciousness. It is that monthly stimulus check from IRS. Who gets it? The legislators represent that this adult automatic IRS stimulus check would be delivered to the same persons that got Third stimulus checks. So let's go over that right now. Single individuals, 75000 or less annual income, you get it. 
married couple, 150000 less, you get it, double it. Family four, you get it, quadruple it. And if you're on benefits, SSI, SSDI. Social Security or railroad benefits, you get it as well. Adult dependents also get it. A family of four, you get it, quadruple it. It's not income. It's not taxable. It's offered nationwide, not state by state. It's not California only. This is not a California channel, even though you see some nice surf in the channel. <laughs> and as the one viewer said, my fiance says you got to pay it back. Um, No, but I think you need to return the engagement ring. <laughs> You haven't selected well, honey. It's this this engagement. This is not starting well. Return the engagement ring and the encounter group, <laughs> as we have been called, will hook you up with someone who knows your stimulus better. How much is this? $2,000 the first month, $1,000 thereafter for up to six months. Now, what are we doing on this channel? Stay at the very end because I'm going to show you how you can get big checks right today. Thousands of checks. Viewers are getting ten, twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000 across the land. And we ain't cashing. We ain't tracking checks on this channel folks we ain't donut girl or donut guy even though you know those donuts do look delicious <laughs> we are cashing checks and stay with me because i'm going to show you how you can cash checks right today later in this video stay at the very end so when would they add these mscs into this recon let's go over those details of that as we bring ourselves into the cr for stimulus part of this recording and it starts right now the senators would add these checks into the recon in the senate subcommittee then they add everything else they want to add to the recon set it to a senate bill send it to a senate floor vote and then a two-day voterama done but that hasn't happened and so four weeks ago on this channel, I brought back CR for Stimulus 1.0. It birthed now 2, 3, and 4.0, and I have big updates tonight about all four of them. The great news is that CR for Stimulus makes sense, and it made history on this channel in 2020. What is the concept? It's very simple. We basically say, we support the Build Back Better Act, the Force Social Recon. It will become a law. But we need other pieces of economic legislation to go out faster and sooner. And what is CR for Stimulus? Where did it start from and how does it work? Let's go over all the details of it starting right now. CR for Stimulus was my creation in early 2020 as we had looked at second stimulus. Second stimulus came after first stimulus. We had our first stimulus. We used it up. We needed more money. We were told that there was a second stimulus package in the work. Package meaning it was thousands of pages in legislation. And that it was partisan with no inherent deadline. Negotiators at the time were Nancy Pelosi of San Francisco on behalf of the Democrats. Steve Mnuchin, then Treasury Secretary on behalf of the Republicans. Negotiations start in the spring, no deal. Summer, no deal. Fall, no deal. Winter, no deal. By December, I said, I can't deal with this. I got to come up with a solution. And I found the solution. A continuing resolution. What is a continuing resolution? It's a small bill, just a few hundred pages in length, not a package has an inherent deadline just a few days out, a few weeks, maybe a month, not several months, has bipartisan support, and gets done. At the time, the deadline was December 2020, and we made the effort, we made the push. I said on air, here was my creation, December 2020. I said, we've been looking at the second stimulus for months, folks, 11 months and no deal. What if we use something else? A CR for stimulus if you're in the live chat right now, write the hashtag campaign, works upon the following concept. Insert a stimulus check in this continuing resolution, which then had a deadline in December 2020, and get it out the door. We made history. The $600 stimulus check was my creation. It was inserted into this continuing resolution. We had a lot of criticism when I first made the recording because it didn't belong in there. We knew it didn't belong in there, but it stayed in there. Got it in there. And the continuing resolution became law. And you made history as well as the Purple Bower community. What also happened thereafter, second stimulus fell apart. Never had a bill, never had a vote, never happened. So what is the latest updates on CR for Stimulus 1, 2, 3, and 4.0 tonight? A lot of breaking details on each of them right tonight. For CR for Stimulus 1.0 is looking really well, as $1.5 trillion of discretionary funds have been included in the continuing resolution. That's a lot. And I'm going to show you why this is great news tonight. But I'm also going to tell you how the White House and certain congressional leaders that have had your back are under pressure to start trying to spend this money on other people. Uh, it's not the airlines. It's someone almost as worse. <laughs> yeah, who's coming with their hand out? It's not Donut Guy or Donut Guy. Who's coming with their hand out saying, oh, discretionary funds? Discretion them on me. <laughs> yeah, I have the latest details and the reaction to that on CR for Symbols 1.0 after the commercial break. Then we'll be looking at 2 and 3.0. We'll be looking at the Russian sanctions bill 4.0. 
than SS200, 300, 400. I have a lot of breaking news on that tonight, folks. Great news, as we have not one, but two moves by the White House to really help alleviate inflationary pressures for you right away this week. Then we'll be looking at tomorrow and next week. New economic data comes in on Friday, and then the Federal Reserve will respond to it next week. Oh, boy, folks, that is the first of five Fed meetings this year and those interest rate spikes. We have all that incredible details. Then we'll be looking back at a Build Back Better Act and the big checks, and finally, my commentary in the final minutes of the video. We have that and more as we go into the big second half. I'll be back with you in 60 seconds as evening's all I can at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LA Light. If you want money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. Home LA Late returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LA Late at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LA Late. And we continue tonight, direct from Santa Monica, California, with your CR for Stimulus 1, 2, 3, and 4.0, your SS300. And the latest details about the Build Back Better Act, we have a lot in the second half of this recording. We'll be looking at the situation and how it is impacted by the events in Ukraine and Russia, and how it impacts your wallet across the land. I have all these incredible details coming up in tonight's second half of this video. I'm excited you're here. But first, I want you part of this incredible family, so go into this video and subscribe. I want you part of this incredible family. Number three most watched financial news channel America, heading to number two. Like the video, two, three thousand likes, and consider becoming a member of Purple Hawk, Purple Power, or Calcino VIP. Let's go over all the details you need to know tonight when we look at first CR for Stimulus 1.0. CR for Stimulus 1.0 is getting really good with $1.5 trillion of discretionary spending in there. That's huge because it has a lot, a lot of money for at least a stimulus check, number one. Number two, discretionary. It's at the discretion of those cabinet members, and those cabinet members of the White House can spend it on you. Number three, it's bipartisan support. So is there anything bad that's going on? Well, yeah, there is. The White House has now been asking for some of that money to be increased for COVID spending. Ah, uh, not happening. <laughs> What happened? Well, Senate Appropriations Chair Patrick Leahy, remember the name? Yeah, Leahy. I kept on saying advocate to Leahy Schumer, Leahy Schumer for CR for Stimulus 1.0. He says, I'm not eager to add anything, White House. It's taken several months of negotiations to get where we are, and I'm very reluctant to open anything else. Do you just always see this happening? We're at the very finish line, and suddenly someone comes in and says, uh, I want something. Where were you months ago when we were working on this? I'm not eager to add anything. And this is not small tickets the White House is looking for. $5 billion more for testing, $3 billion to cover for uninsured, $18 billion for treatment and COVID testing. Uh, not happening. Uh, then, <laughs> Republicans don't even like it either. $30 billion, $30 billion with not oversight. Remember, we're talking about $1.5 trillion, and $30 billion is still a big honk. So Republicans don't like it. Democrats don't like it. Now... <laughs> It's been with me a while. There's one group I don't particularly like, and you know who they are. 
the restaurant union. Ah, oh, they've been watching my channel, apparently. There's 1.5 trillion. Let's go get that. We can make some more lasagna. <laughs> yeah, so the restaurant union is now lobbying Congress to get that $1.5 trillion spent on them. Oh, really? Get behind us. Who do you think you are? Uh, I'm not joking. <laughs> that just is, uh, they want, as your channel gets bigger, then they watch you from where the free money is. I'm like, oh, yeah. So tell them to get behind us. A princess on Twitter has been having some great Twitter emojis where she's been tagging the elected official saying, spend the money on us. Let's remember, it's $1.5 trillion. Uh, and this is discretionary funds. The funds are at the discretion of, of the cabinet members. Spend the money on us. And what's important is to advocate to those legislators, not just Leahy, not just Schumer, but to say, hey, spend the money on us because we've had your back. It's time for you to have our back. Sanders. Schumer, Warren, Wyden, Casey, Coons, and more. You know, the message is very clear. Build Back Better Act will happen, but you need to spend the money on us so that we get this money. We are suffering during this economic upheaval of inflation and gas prices, and you've not been able to deliver Build Back Better to the finish line. So you want to retain your seats as Senate Democrats? Well, you better give us pennies. You better give us money because Republicans are vowing to give us money as well. You better start spending money on us. And I'm talking about dental vision. I'm talking about checks in our hands because the inflationary pressures are real right across the board. Let's go into the latest updates on CR for Simmons 2 and 3.0. So 2 and 3.0 is getting fascinating because the House Democrats understand that Build Back Better will pass, but no time or place to wait around for it. So they need other pieces, to quote them, of legislation. They passed one in the House, now sent to the Senate, and those pieces of legislation being merged with the Senate Republicans' ideas. What? How is this possible? So much bipartisanship. It's because Democrats and Republicans understand that the midterm elections will be won based upon giving people economic relief now, not promises of economic relief, economic relief now, in view of the inflationary pressures at hand. And then we look at CR for Stimulus 4.0, the Russian sanctions bill. This is not particularly clear what's going on with this because while the White House has announced lots of sanctions this week, even several versions today, the Senate bill that would sanction Russia additionally has not even been teed up for a vote by Chuck Schumer. Not particularly clear why not. And then I have brand new breaking news. It's all great news starting right now with... SS200, SS300, and SS400. Boy, folks, this is really incredible, great news, and it's brand new tonight on evenings. I'm going to go first over what SS200, 300, 400 is, how much money it is. Then I'll go into the breaking news so you hear it from me right off the board. And then I'm going to go over how Joe Biden can do this. Before I want to go over that, I want to say something very clear, if I haven't said it across yet in this video. The element of what's going on in news reporting right now is the following. There's a potential war ensuing in Eastern Europe, and the non-financial news channels cover war extensively because it's big ratings for them. And so if you see a correspondent on a rooftop covering an explosion in the background, that brings them more ratings than talking about Build Back Better. I want you to know that if you're tuning in to them on your TV set, don't think that Build Back Better or anything I'm covering with you is dead. It's just they're going for something that brings them in ratings. It could be a tornado. It could be a hurricane. They're going to cover what brings them ratings. When you look at the financial news channels, the three of us, the number one covers stocks. The stocks have been really hurting because of Ukraine and Russia. The number two covers the Federal Reserve. I'll be going over Federal Reserve's implications in the next uh, five minutes of this video. And me, number three, I go over your money, how to get money from all these incredible programs. So I want you to understand, if you don't see something somewhere else, don't think it's not happening. They're running for the ratings with the particular story. All right, let's go over what the president did. Let's go over what SS200, 300, 400 is, and then what the president did across the board today. SS200 was a campaign promise from Liz Warren. During her run for president, Liz Warren promised to raise your benefits up an additional $200 a month. Who's you? If you're on SSI, SSDI, Social Security, Railroad Benefits, Veterans Benefits, SSA, RB, across the board. She immediately thereafter withdrew from her run for president. Joe Biden adopted her policies, said, I'm going to make them my own. He did. He won the general election. Then he uh, put them in his transition papers at JoeBiden.com, saying these will be delivered to the millions of America. 
What is it? $200 a month on top of your existing benefits. Well, he came into office, didn't do it. And suddenly, Democratic senators say, fifth stimulus. We're going to do a fifth stimulus. They didn't get that done. So three weeks ago, I brought SS200 back on this channel. And now, this week, I showed you how to do SS300. The concept is very simply replacing COLA with inflation, which is a higher benchmark, which would raise your benefits up $200 a month starting right now, and then additional $100 in January next year, and then about $50, $60 thereafter every year thereafter. That is SS300, 400. More about that in a second. But I have grand new breaking news tonight, which is all great news for you that the president did do. And it all impacts your wallet. When we talk about uh, Vladimir Putin and Ukraine, what we're talking about is oil and gas. A major exporter of gasoline that you get at the pump comes from Russia and also comes from Ukraine. Because of the sanctions now upon Russia, Russia's oil is no longer available to U.S. citizens. And the Ukrainian oil will be impeded as well. So if you have less barrels of gasoline available from Russia, then what you do have available could go up higher in price. <laughs> Not so fast. The White House in great news statements today, great news today, said, I will not allow U.S. manufacturers of gasoline to now raise their prices because Russia and Ukraine's oil is no longer available to U.S. citizens. Oh, this is good, folks. So he's trying to stabilize the prices and basically saying he will criminally prosecute any U.S. manufacturer of oil and gas that now sees that Russia and Ukraine is no longer in the equation for providing gasoline. He will prosecute those U.S. manufacturers if they try to price gouge you, try to raise the prices up too high. Number two, there is great news tonight that the White House may have a major deal to get 1.5 million barrels of gasoline into our circulation. Where is it coming from? Iran. Private indicators now suggest that the White House may have a nuclear agreement with Iran in the works. This may be pissing off Vladimir Putin, ironically. That if there's a nuclear deal done with Iran that could be coming in the next few weeks, that would float 1.5 million new barrels of gasoline into our economy. And that would bring down the price of gasoline humongously. Oh, boy, is it looking good. But the other one that came in really great today, which is not a few weeks out, it's, it's by the end of this week, is the incredible release of more gasoline from the federal emergency reserves. What's at issue? The federal government owns barrels of Brent crude. Have you met Brent? He's very crude. <laughs> No, this is actually gasoline barrels. We call it Brent crude. The federal government keeps them in storage in the back room. Uh, every time Chuck has a, um, an opening on Broadway, they bring it out and roll it out, you know, put it back in there. Uh, <laughs> I want you to understand that if they release some, they go buy and buy some more later on when it's on discount. I'm not joking. So don't think we're running out of it. It just goes to the dollar store every time it's on sale. Let's buy some more and puts it back. No joke. That's actually how it does. So what is the federal... What what is Biden not done, and what did Biden finally do today? Uh, so Biden only has released, I think, one time since I've been covering this. Well, one time since he's been president, uh, some of these r r uh, barrels into our into our flow into our economy to bring the price of gasoline down. Only once, Mr. President. Yeah, I've been critical about this. So finally, this week he's releasing some more. Thank goodness. I mean, really, what? Why so stingy on releasing the barrels? So. The releasing of new barrels will happen by the end of this week. Thank goodness. That means that the gasoline prices, the pump will come down. Where are we right now? These are not your prices that you pay. This is what the barrel of the Brent, that crude guy, pays. <laughs> He's very crude. $100 a barrel right now. That's where we are right now. Analysts believe that we could sustain that level for six more months if inflation does not get worse. <sighs> if inflation is not getting worse. But at the moment, we're looking like we're heading to 125. We cannot sustain 125, the analysts say. So we're, we're trying to bring it down to about $93 is what Biden is trying to do, which is much better than where we are now. And that would be in view of any potential other inflation across the board. Uh, the Federal Reserve has that new economic data coming out to Friday, this Friday, that will determine whether the Federal Reserve will raise interest rates five of five meetings this year, or seven times in five meetings this year, or may even worse, raise it uh, a half basis point 
in just a few days from now in its first meeting. Oh boy. So you got to stay with me in the next 24 hours because those financial elements coming out tomorrow are huge. And this is all why SS 300, 400 is so important. The concept is very simple that you go to buy your your items at the store to survive, you're paying $200, $300, $400 a month. So the president needs to do this right away. How does he do it? He just picks up the phone and contacts the head of Social Security and say, replace COLA with inflation. Do it 30 days out. Suddenly, it's costing you $300 more per month to live, $200 more per month. That would be a break even. And then as these other items come down like uh, gasoline, like consumer goods later this year, then you'll be ahead of the game. Then you'll actually be getting more money and keeping more money in the bank. Later this December, uh, inflation is expected to be about 4%. So you get another lift up across the board with that. That would bring you to SS300, very simple across the board. This is how we rock and roll. Now, what's important to understand is that the Federal Reserve has that meeting coming in uh, just a few days from now, the first week of March. And we're looking at seeing where the Federal Reserve is going to raise interest rates five times in five meetings at a quarter basis points, or potentially seven times in five meetings, or even worse, a half basis point in just its first meeting just a few days from now. There's a lot of breaking news coming to this channel, folks, in the next few days. I will be recording more than you've seen me before because there is so much recordings and so much breaking news. This is where all the elements of Ukraine, inflation, the Federal Reserve all come together. Now, what do we do on this channel? My job is to get you cash. Cash is king. Cashing checks, not tracking checks. And that is why it's important to know what's in Build Back Better Act, but it's also important to get the big money of Third Stimulus. Let's go over quickly what is in Build Back Better Act and go right to Third Stimulus because you're going to get cash today, not five months from now, today from Third Stimulus. And here we go. What is in Fourth Stimulus before we get to that Third Stimulus money? There is $72,500 of what you can deduct and see in local taxes growing from $10,000. Cheaper prescription medication growing from 10 at year one to 30 at 2028. $40 billion of free job training got in there. Tax hikes, wow. Uh, they got in there the Medicaid gap fix. 12 workaround states that provide low income uninsured people subsidized private insurance. And then they got in there housing assistance. Coming back to that in a second. Uh, and then they got in there the earned income tax credit, one more year, the CTC, the checks for the children, the household tax credit, and then the nutrition, of course. But then let's turn to the third stimulus money. Third stimulus. What we do on this channel is cash checks. And we see all this elements of inflation and gasoline and Ukraine. Get cash right now, folks. It's third stimulus. And the great success story is that viewers who listen and apply the information are cleaning up this week. I'll have more viewers tomorrow, including Bob Bacon, who sent me a beautiful message saying that he got some money for himself and his family just the last few days. Uh, got to. Those lobster shorts are not cheap. <laughs> uh, here's Nisi. She got another $10,000 for rent and utilities the last this, this week. Karen Thompson got another $40,000 for rent and snap and utilities. What are we doing? We're getting third stimulus. And where do you get it? Pull out the newsletter. If you're a member of this channel, if you're not, but go under this video right now and get a newsletter. The and Become a member to get the newsletter. It goes out Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time via the YouTube alert system and the LA Late alert system. Here's the rent. You get it from six places. City Hall, City House Authority. All featured in the newsletter. County Hall, County House Authority. State Hall and State House Authority. And keywords you can say are rent assistance because of COVID. Mortgage and utility assistance because of COVID. Next, get SNAP. And utilities. Utility assistance because of COVID. Mark's brother-in-law getting $15,000. SNAP, you get it from Department of Agriculture. Mark's brother-in-law is getting $25,000 a year for his family, over 10 years, a quarter million dollars from this channel. Nisi, she got three items, inspired countless viewers like Art Selman to get three. Here was Mark at two, he got 32,000. Then he grew at the three items at 50,000. Now he's over three items. Now he's over uh, $100,000 with more items. Here's Lorraine at 105 and now heading to 120. But notice this was a graphic from Nisi back in October. She got another twenty, uh, another $10,000 in this round today. She got another round last year. So she's heading to $40,000 herself. What are we doing here, folks? What we do on this channel is we get as much cash as king. This channel is not about what's in your mailbox. Just tell me what's laying in my mailbox. No, I'm not going to tell you what's laying in your mailbox. I'm going to show you how to get cash today. You don't want the cash today? Then I can't help you. 
I have one wonderful kind viewer who's a longtime viewer who's in the live chat yesterday. He said he had reached out to one of those six places to get the rent. One. One. And got a no. And stopped. Mm-mm. Ain't how you do it. <laughs> Remember Johnny's incredible story? Reached out to 17 places, got eight approved in one week, $80,000. No, 15 places in one week, got seven approved, $80,000. That's how you do it. You keep on calling. The latest round, I want you to get out all the way to May for your rent. City Hall, City House Authority. County Hall, County House Authority. State Hall and State House Authority. That's six. You're a member of this channel? Open the newsletter. Reach out to the five nonprofits. There's five of them. Between the five nonprofits and the six places, you will get rent, utilities, SNAP, for additional round more months. I have a lot of viewers who I see in the live chat who I know got rounds in the spring of 2020 and another round in Christmas 2021. Uh, and spring of 2021 and Christmas 2021, but I haven't seen you get another round lately, so I'm watching you. Uh, I'm watching you. Uh, I know you haven't gotten that latest round. Go get it right now. We have a lot coming up tonight across the board. Evenings Countdown at 6 o'clock, Evenings Allied at 5 o'clock, Evenings Extra at 8 o'clock, and Evening Stream Stimulus at 7. Then we go over our overnight shows across the board at 9 o'clock. We'll be having more expanded coverage on this channel. I'm back to being with you more on air than ever before. But I want to send all our prayers and wishes to the families in Ukraine. Also, the families in Georgia and Belarus on tense alert as concerns that they could be the next target of Vladimir Putin's invasion hopes. I also want to send our deepest thought to our men's our men and women of armed services who are currently stationed in neighboring countries that are NATO alliance countries like Poland, uh, Lithuania, uh, Poland and Romania. Our prayers and wishes are with you. And this channel is a channel of solidarity, of support, of love, of kindness and hope and dedication. We come together in times of needs like this and we stay positive. We stay focused and we stay loving towards one another. And with that, I want you part of this incredible family and send your love to all those people overseas impacted across the board. Stay informed, and stay focused. Have a beautiful evening. Stay here as the programming continues throughout the night. And I will be on top of every element that impacts your wallet, whether it is Brent and how crude he is. <laughs> With or without his lobster shorts on. You know, I've never met a person more crude than Brent, but I'll have the latest details and more as LA continues.